Filling out forms can definitely be tricky sometimes, which is why I've asked a few colleagues to help me explain how to fill out the Griggs Enrollment Packet. But before we begin that, I want to talk about the best way to send it in to us. The easiest way is to simply fill it out online, save it as a PDF using the Save As option, and then emailing that to us. You can also print it out, scan it, and then send it to us via email as well. And in case you were worried, digital signatures work just fine too. Now you will want to make sure to attach everything into one email with identifiable names. And that also includes those important supporting documents, such as a birth certificate for all new students, IEPs or 504s for students where that may apply, and report card or transcript for new students taking four or more courses, returning students taking four or more courses who have received academic credit at another school, or any course that has a prerequisite that was taken at another school. Having all of this in one email will help us to process your enrollment quickly, which will mean you'll be able to get started on your courses faster. All right, let's go ahead and start with form one. As you fill out the form, be sure that the name matches what is written on the birth certificate. This is important for transcripts and diplomas. If you're not sure what your student ID number is, check the message from enrollgia at andrews.edu that was sent a few days after you completed the online application. The next question is for high school students only. If you plan to graduate with Griggs, that is, you are a full-time student, check the GIA Diploma Seeker box. Now, if you checked yes to the last question, select the diploma type you're working to receive. Remember, more information about the diploma types can be found in the high school handbook. Be sure to include a parent or guardian signature and date, and remember that digital signatures are okay. Right off the bat, you'll probably notice that you need Form 2 in order to fill out Form 3. Please double check to make sure that the course names and numbers on both forms are an exact match. You'll need to decide whether to enroll in one or two semesters. Please note that both options give you the same 12 months to complete your coursework, but enrolling in two semesters can save you some money on enrollment fees and is often the best choice for families. Also note that some high school courses are one semester only. Please refer to Form 2 to help with that. Now let's make sense of the different sections of payment amounts. There's the tuition total, which is the cost of the courses added together, the enrollment fee, which is the cost to enroll and is different per grade level. There are sometimes other fees such as ebooks, math resources, or lab fees that apply. There's a promo code where you'd enter the siblings discount, which waives the younger siblings enrollment fee when enrolled together, and the total which is all costs added together. Please note that while you can choose to finance the tuition total, you will need to pay the enrollment and other fees before your child is enrolled at GIA. How will you pay? You can use your credit card online on our website's homepage. Select Enrollment Payment and then enter your information. First off, don't skip Form 4. Even if you're paying in full, the parent or guardian still needs to complete the financial agreement on top. The section includes information about cancellation, refunds, and changes to courses, so read these carefully. If you're doing a payment plan, the payment plan agreement includes information such as the installments cannot be less than $25, the cost of a late payment fee, and when your first payment will be due. You'll receive a statement by email and mail that will include the payment plan amounts based on what you entered into this form. The amount financed is only for course tuition, not enrollment fee, ebook fees, etc. Just divide the amount financed by number of monthly payments. Reminder, you have to pay by the first of each month and there are no automatic withdrawals. Form 5 is for high school students as they choose their proctor for their midterm and final exam, and it must be completed correctly for the enrollment to be processed. 
Now, proctors can include teachers, school counselors, librarians, pastors, etc. However, they cannot be related to the students. Now, in case you didn't know as well, Griggs actually offers an online proctoring service where it asks for the name of the proctor, just write in Griggs. And after the enrollment process is completed, we'll end up emailing you details about how exactly that'll work. There you have it. You have completed your enrollment packet. Congrats, you're now one step closer to being enrolled at Greg's.